Hello friend, welcome. So on the screen is our Java chess game. Um, trying to um, communicate between the circuit server and the circuit client. The top one is the server. So currently, so far, we can receive every time when we click the connect um, from the circuit client. When we click the button connect, it will connect to the server, which is listening on port 50,000. And the server will send back a string like that to the client. Okay, so in this video, let's try to use this information to update our client game screen, okay, game board. And first of all, let's fix this warning. The warning says the socket is not closed and we can add like something like a final like a final finally these things and do like socket dot close uh, nope in this if we want to do that this guy um, has to be defined outside the trial right but we don't need to do that we can um, we can put this one here the cut and put it inside here this is called the try with resources it will automatically close the socket after this block okay so yeah you see the the warning is gone and if we try it the result is same let's give it a try close close and uh, run so this will be our server okay listen yeah and uh, we don't have a client yet let's run it so run again yeah, this guy is our is our kind, will be our kind. Okay, make it smaller. Um, so now let's switch the right the console on the right to our kind. This guy. Now let's click connect. Right. So. Yeah, this is the information received from server. Now let's try to use that. Um, the information is from here, you see? And uh, we can do a string. Oh, okay, so can we use raw here? Um, move right this is a game move string equals in dot next line yeah here right so we have next move now we need to okay so now we are doing the real thing so we don't want to this garbage right we just need four numbers putting together so this is our protocol our own communication protocol we put four like from column from row to column and to row there's no need for space just separate using comma like that so we'll receive this and we'll pass this string and to get four integers out uh, so here we can get a string right like zero one zero two yeah now next step we can split this string to four string array uh, no array of four substring 
array of four strings, right? So like that, move array string array equals move string and uh, dot split, and we'll put a delimiter here. The delimiter we know is comma, right? So after that, we'll get an array of string like that. Zero, one, zero, two. Right? We'll get that. Now we can loop through this uh, array and uh, to change each one to integer. Right? So we can call our uh, move piece. Or we can do that right so because we need yeah so this is a var from column equals move string array this is the first one you see that one and uh, make make a copy of them so row is yeah, let's put one, two, three here. So this is two column and two row. Oh, two row. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, those four things are still strings, right? So we needed to uh, change that to our to integer. So let's do something like that. Integer dot pass integer, yeah, from a string like that. Okay, and uh, let's make all the change here. So make a copy like that all of them yeah we don't need to change this I guess put it back wah. Wah. and uh, closing it close it now the compiler is it happy yeah um so let's try it so this time let's make a change like this one let's move um make a move to zero three okay now let's try it run the server and uh make the server ready okay now launch a client make it smaller pull down and uh, get the console ready here now connect oh it crashes the problem is where we tried to upgrade to update the GUI the UI from a background thread so we what we have to do is like that swing utility dot um, like something later and invoke later yeah invoke later here we provide a runnable right so the new runnable like that so we can put our code here then it's safe remember very important we always update the UI from the UI thread so thanks to the utility 
provided by a string so this way um, we are sure this code will be run inside the um, swing UI thread invoke data asynchronously now let's try it again um, server is ready listen okay now client okay move it on and make it a little bit smaller here and get the console ready to monitor its behavior oh well oh is our server ready? I just already used. Yeah, we cannot click again. Um, sorry about that. Try it again. We'll fix this later. But for now, um, let's focus on our happy path. Okay. So, listen. Yeah. Now try our oh the server is on this side now let's make it smaller i didn't realize this the console is switched so let's ping this guy and the switch this guy to the server yeah and we'll always use the left for the server and the right for the um, client now if we connect we should be able to see a, a piece moved right no what no such element um, from server no such a font next line um, what is wrong Again, next line. Um, in scan next line. Oh. Um. Sorry about that. Actually, this error is because we already read a line here right so we try to read it again that's the problem um, so we can switch this one here and print out from server move string instead of read again yeah now let's try it again so run our server why it's not here oh listen yeah now client okay go down make it smaller and uh, get the console ready 
now connect you see here this is, is our piece move right um, the coordinate is not quite right I think we we are planning to move this guy to there to here instead of this one but we'll fix this later okay but anyway we use the information received from server to update the socket client that's a great achievement thank you for watching see you next time